Edging up on a three-week military campaign into the Gaza Strip, Israeli Foreign Minister Sipi Livni is on a campaign in the United States to decrease weapon smuggling into Gaza. Livni and U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice signed a deal aimed at halting arms smuggling in a bid to clinch a ceasefire. That for a cessation of hostilities to be durable, there must be an end to the smuggling of weapons into Gaza. The Memorandum of Understanding, or MOU, outlined steps that the U.S. and Israel would take to choke Hamas's flow of armaments. Livni says Hamas's influence is the biggest obstacle to peace in Gaza. That is why the MOU we signed today is so important as a vital component for the cessation of hostility. The MOU was signed just days before President Bush leaves office, which many believe to be the date that Israel would stop its offensive into Gaza. But the agreement doesn't stop the discord between Hamas and Israel, and many feel that a true resolution is not even close. Livni represents a country. Livni, does, I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't matter whether she is effective or not uh, as in terms of presenting her country's demands. Many areas of Gaza are destroyed and destitute. More than 1,000 Palestinians, the majority of them civilians, have been killed to Israel's 13. Humanitarian aid has trickled into Gaza, but not enough to counter the thousands displaced and injured by a bloody offensive. When a reporter at the National Press Club asked why Israel continues Gaza blockades, his microphone was cut off and Livni fired back. Peter, you're being very unfair, Peter. The crossings between Israel and Gaza are open for humanitarian needs, and they were open for humanitarian needs during the truce, before that, and even now during the military operation. Thank you. Well, first of all, with regards to the Israeli objective in general, with re, you know, regarding the attack on, uh, on Gaza, that has been kind of shifting all along from day one. It hasn't you know, remained uh, consistent. The growing humanitarian crisis in Gaza has also created a fracture in the Arab community. Qatar invited members of the 22-nation Arab League to a special summit. Egypt and Saudi Arabia refused to attend, holding their own meetings instead. The U.S. and Israel may agree on its treatment of Hamas, but the organization's leaders are unfazed. Hamas leader Khaled Mashal told the Arab summit in Doha that he would not accept any ceasefire unless it guaranteed a full Israeli pullout and the opening of Gaza's borders. For Press TV, Colin Campbell, Washington.